Hey, good evening everyone. Something very different on the channel for you today. We're at Give Kids the World Village for their Night of a Million Lights event. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend Molly. And based on the ongoing global health situation, Give Kids the World Village had to close down. They couldn't accept new wish kids. Um, this is a, a village based on sick kids coming to the Orlando area to sort of live their make-a-wish kind of dream. Right. Uh, obviously with everything going on, that can't really happen right now. So they've got this giant fundraiser going on for two months set up with, I think it's 3 million lights. Right. And uh, in this video here, we're going to show it off. I think it's $25 per person. $25 per person on, on busier or more popular nights. It will get more expensive, but on the night we're here in uh, the earlier season, it is $25. And uh, in this video here, we're going to show you all around this wonderful event, this magical place. Guys, I really like this. You've got a, uh, like a big sea serpent topiary all lit up with holiday lights. Pretty fun here. It's advertised as the 115 foot tall long uh, Christmas light tunnel. Gives a, a really nice pleasant effect as you're walking down the street. Molly, you like this one, the uh, LED light change, the color changing Christmas tree here. Yeah, it kind of works with the music too. Yeah. And uh, lots of neat stuff. I like how it's all done up like a giant Christmas tree with ornaments. For here you got the, the safari theme, which is a movie theater for the kids. Normally in the village, like a big movie theater that plays movies all the time. And it's got a lot of the popcorn is all lit up as well. Well, not special to their Christmas event. This is Ol Elmer, who's on the side of a building and you can hear him snoring. I just think it's really neat. You have a very nice little garden area as well. With lots and lots of lights. Molly, this is absolutely wonderful over here. You've got the bunny mascot for Give Kids the World. It's so cute. Done up as Santa. Makes so much sense. Oh, it's wonderful. So you got this wonderful uh, tree, the kind of- Wishing tree. Wishing I tree. I think it's called a wishing tree. But over here, it's a paper eater like an Efteling. Yeah, you're supposed to make a wish and push the button. Oh. So one fun thing as part of the event is they have a couple of rides here at Good Kids the World Village. Um, looking now at the a couple of the flat rides donated by Zamperla, and that is the uh, Lori's Magic Flight, which is their Wind Stars kind of model. And these are made so that uh, wheelchairs and stuff like that could go in. In addition to the the Wind Stars one, there is also a Happy Swing as well. But it's very, very colorful. All right, this is pretty wonderful. They've got um, a carousel with all sorts of different animals on it. And it exists underneath a giant, like, toadstool? Yeah, that's their logo. Yeah, and I, I can see why. Yeah. And, uh, of course, it's, it's all lit up. You've got all sorts of wonderful animals on it, and the, the ride is open for you to ride. Uh, you do also have some trees here, some really nice trees from different things. Like a Robin Hood Robin tree? Robin Hood tree. It's not what I was expecting to see on this tree. <laughs> I just saw their stuff here. Just wonderfully, wonderfully decorated buildings. Hey, one wearing a top hat. Well, you've got my attention, Molly. <laughs> Over here, probably something that's here all the time is this wonderful elephant. It might be like Horton Hears a Who, and then right next to it, a Spider-Man fire hydrant. You do have a, uh, a large lagoon over here in a section of the village. And I'm pointing this out because they have some fun lights. You've got like a waterfall done up on some rocks. Santa riding a speedboat. But my favorite, the sea dragon breathing fire, wagging his tail in a Santa hat. All right, so I love this. In the town hall, they've got an exhibit sponsored by Planet Hollywood with stuff from like Christmas movies. Of course, Turbo Man's outfit being my favorite here. <laughs> but here they have a lot of stuff from Jingle All The Way. Uh, you've got some of the dolls. Of course, Booster. No, nobody likes Booster. Nobody likes Booster. Nobody likes Booster. Uh, Dementor. Some of these. you got a uh, hat worn in the film. More dolls showing up in the film. Uh, Demon Team Helmet. And we just watched this movie like as a, earlier this week as we set up the tree. Yep. Uh, you got some stuff from Scrooge. Uh, Preacher's wife, a sled from Jack Frost. 
up. Here comes some stilt walkers. But um, I like this. These are props from Home Alone and Home Alone 2. That's fantastic. And then I would guess probably, you know, the most famous prop in the, the collection here, the Santa from uh, Miracle on 34th Street. I do want to mention this real quick, the three million lights in this exhibit were all donated by the Walt Disney World Resort. So this is pretty fun. In the middle of the event, they've got a, a midway game. Uh, I think it's donated by Bob Space Racers, which is a, a Florida company. And uh, you can play whack-a-mole. Uh, one play, three dollars. Uh, two plays for five dollars. I won! You did! And we won a, um, a construction puzzle, something we're going to give to Molly's nieces for Christmas. They love construction equipment, so it's yeah. perfect. I hope you're proud of me. I, I could have won a Braun Strowman action figure. But you gave it up for Yeah, but I nieces. gave it up for your nieces, yeah. So someone that's never been here before, this, uh, we've got this wonderful mural of ducks and forest friends. Over here you do have another uh, dancing tree with dancing lights. Uh, this one's really nice. This is over here right next to the, uh, the ice cream parlor. So they do have merchandise available in a couple different locations. Everything from hand sanitizer, glowing necklaces, hats. Uh, they do have a, uh, like a Night of a Million Lights t-shirt. And then a couple other like Give Kids the World kind of stuff. So if you want to give a little bit more. I do like, uh, that's pretty snazzy. That one there. They've got a, a windbreaker and another type of sweatshirt. Over by the pool, there is food and beverage for sale, and uh, pretty inexpensive, like three dollar hot dogs, six dollar pizzas, one dollar chips, or two dollar cookies. In the pool area, hanging out is a lighted up airboat. So included with your admission here to the Night of a Million Lights is uh, pretty much all the ice cream and hot cocoa you can eat and drink. Which makes sense because they usually give out uh, all you can eat ice cream to the Yeah. Kids. And then hot cocoa is a, yeah. like, like a Christmas time kind of thing. Now you might have to wait a little bit for it. We waited probably about 10 minutes for our, our free food here. But it's over here by the pool area. Over here you got a uh, nicely decorated gazebo. So a large bulk of the event here at the Night of a Million Lights is they have these uh, villas all across the village and each one's sponsored by a different, uh, kind of a local brand. And some of them are really neat. So we're here at the Ripley's Believe It or Not one where they have a shark wrapped up. In Ripley's fashion, they have an upside down Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. uh, just some wonderful stuff. You got people doing wacky stuff in the, the window. Uh, you've got Robert Wadlow, the world's tallest man as the world's tallest elf. The <laughs> Santa sleigh was drawn by three small horses. Um, you've got wacky, like, double-faced gingerbread men. You have the world's largest, longest motorcycle. World's longest motorcycle. And look at the lights. They're shrunken heads. <laughs> Very odd. Very it different. is. And they've got Santa just waving in the window there. Lots of cool stuff here at the Ripley's house. Boy made of toys. It's a, it's a sculpture of somebody made out of all toys and the uh, the smallest production car ever made. Really cool. Yeah. Oh man, they've got all sorts of stuff in here in this boy made out of toys. See Teletubbies, Power Rangers. Very cool. All right, let's go check out the rest of the villas. Uh, this house is sponsored by the Hasbro Company. Of course, Transformers, Mr. Potato Head, Peppa Pig, My Little Pony. Here at the Perkins house, they've got a, first of all, a Christmas tree made out of pie plates. But then Molly, I think the, the winner is over here. The KitchenAid? Yeah, they've got like a, a seven foot tall KitchenAid mixer. It's great. We have one in our house. And it has like pudding in it. That does look like pudding. The next house is sponsored by Holiday Inn Club Vacations Orlando. Uh, first of all, it, I love how it, you've got, oh, they, it's projection based. Like the seagulls are flying across Myrtle Beach. And the, uh, the clouds are moving behind New Orleans. That is really neat. 
Uh, I don't think anything happens for you, Branson. I'm sorry. We were just there, though. And then probably the coolest part about the house is they turn the windows into projection. So, like, the kids are bouncing on the bed. Uh, the parents are happily watching TV in the other room. And these move, too. Lake Tahoe moves. You see the moon moving and Scottsdale with the clouds. A lot of technology here at the Holiday Inn Club Vacations one. Tumbleweed. Heads turning back on the camera here at the Holiday Inn one because in the driveway is a projection map car. Here. <laughs> Next house is Winterland Inc. and it's really cool. Uh, gingerbread stuff. They got a full gingerbread car with wheels made out of Oreos. I love the little doggy. He's a good boy. Uh, this is a, a very neat booth. But I said booth, it's a house. You got happy elves. You got uh, their line of elves going into the house With there. Presents? Yeah. And then over here you have a, uh, a caroling family. Also, the Winterland house is this wonderful family of snowmen. This house here is sponsored by SeaWorld. They're pretty well done. They got the giant orca tail coming up out of the, uh, the ground. I feel like that had to have been in the park somewhere, right? Yeah. And of course, an ad for the Icebreaker roller coaster. Everyone's excited for that coming in a, out in probably sometime in the spring. A very simple house, but it's done pretty well, obviously, with the Icebreaker kind of motif. This one's pretty fun. It's sponsored by the PGA Tour. So you've got a golf cart covering lights. And then you have all the stars of the PGA wearing like Christmas onesies and smiling. Oh, you've also got a, a Christmas tree made out of golf balls. Golf balls hanging from the tree. Uh, this one, pretty, pretty fun. I uh, definitely, uh, like I'm not the biggest fan of golf, but uh, they did a great job with their their house. So if you know here us here in the loop, we're big fans of Fun Spot. I've been past holders there for a while, and they have a, a pretty interesting house with Pringles go kart repair. With a, I'm guessing these are definitely not the carts they've used for a while. So some older carts they had laying around, and uh, Santa fixing them up. You've also got some other sponsors here at the the Fun Spot area. You got Gold Key Roofing. I'm guessing that is a, a news channel with Santa in the traffic copter, WFTV. And then uh, the Stanley Steamer van all, all done up in lights. Looks like we got some Christmas time stilt walkers walking past. All lit up. It's a movie picture. Look like a candy cane. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, and the next one up is from uh, Christmas Couture and Twinkly Pro. And you can tell these guys do lights as these are uh, pretty well done. It, it's moving and twinkling. You can see why you would name your company Twinkly Pro. Guys, if uh, you're a fan of boats, you could probably guess who sponsored this house. This is sponsored by the Boston Whaler. And in the front yard, a giant Boston Whaler. <laughs> This one is Servali. I don't really know what a Servali is, but apparently they really like nutcrackers. All sizes of nutcrackers. As if you look back there, there's one that's gotta be about 15 feet tall. Here's another house sponsored by something near and dear to us in the loop, and this is sponsored by the Crayola Experience. And I love it. It's really cute. They're putting up their Christmas lights. Yes. I like how they're all trying to help. And like this light has no no lights in it because these guys are currently putting it up. Of course, our video from the Crayola Experience here in Orlando, the uh, most viewed video in the history of the In The Loop channel. <laughs> oh, this guy, he's like, um, he's kind of drawing the lights onto this one. This is the Enterprise house and it's, uh, you can see the truck here picking up the Christmas tree. The house is done up in all the Enterprise colors and they made like a kind of like a road over here. Yeah, no, I like this one. Yeah. Easy. This one's well done. This is brought to us by uh, Legoland Florida Resort. So they got the giant Lego wreath you could stand in. And not only that, they've got um, 
some little Lego elves over there putting up some Christmas bells. It's really cute. Yeah. And a snowman. Yeah, and a very big uh, Lego snowman. And uh, these things, these things take a considerable lot of time to make. Especially one of like this size and the wreath. Like, yeah. Good for you, Legoland. This one here is sponsored by Orlando City Soccer with the light up soccer nets. That makes a ton of sense. Yeah. This one's also pretty, pretty fantastic. Kennedy Space Center, complete with like the moon mobile mm -hmm. in the driveway. So I'm not sure what an HNTB is, but this is theirs. Complete with a inflatable penguin driving a light up car. I do you like penguins? Absolutely. They've also got a uh, fancy light up bridge. But look in the window. <laughs> For some reason, inside the house, Santa and his pig friends are flying a biplane. That's awesome. Here's the one for the Margaritaville Hotel and Resort. Complete with like a land shark style beach, a giant paddle board. And then for me, I, I don't think anything would say quite vacation-y like this here, driving this weird little cart with a massive margarita on top of it. Well guys, I think I found my personal favorite house. And that's this one over here with the, the light up squared circle. And if you look in the window, there's none other than Finn Balor, NXT champion. You've also got some NXT title belts, as this house is sponsored by WWE NXT, which of course films here in the Orlando area. And uh, that's one thing I miss right now, man. I, I would go to NXT shows about once a month, but it's obviously not something that's happening. Uh, in this window, you do have Tommaso Ciampa. Kind of interesting, they put a dirty, dirty heel here in the window next to the North American Championship. Can't really see, but that is the NXT title. And since it's the WWE house, you do have some uh, tables and chairs done up in lights. Makes sense. Uh, American Airlines here coming in very strong with the airplane, with the landing, with the little elf guy helping. This might be one of my favorites. It, this it's one, up there. It's good. And then they went as far, not only to build the, like the, the landing area, but they've also got like the luggage cart over there all lit up as well. This house is done up by uh, landscape maintenance company Landcare, who uh, has the Grinch driving a lawnmower through the lights through the lights he's taking down the he's, lights oh he's the taking tree. down the tree because he's stealing christmas <laughs> with help from land care <laughs> you know who's not stealing christmas is this adorable reindeer and snowman this house is done by itech entertainment which is a uh, themed entertainment company and it's done very well yeah you can tell that these guys do themed entertainment as in their window is a, a wonderful projection show. And the lights will turn off and on. <laughs> the kid just took a picture, picture of, of Santa. Santa. Yeah, you can't take a picture of Santa. <laughs> he just went up the chimney. Yeah, that's that's top notch. That is great. This house is sponsored by the Walt Disney Company, and it's Happy Holidays from Bill and the Beast. And you can see like the. Uh, the classic rose from the film over there, and a mannequin just up as well. You do have another Disney house over here. This is Happy Holidays from Cinderella and Prince Charming. So this area, the village is normally for like pony rides in the petting zoo, and uh, it just lit up wonderfully. So over by the, the what's normally that, that pony farm area, you do have a section of uh, Christmas trees, like a Christmas tree trail. There's Mickey and Minnie on that one. I'm assuming, yeah, there are different sponsored Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. Look at that, there's one over there sponsored by uh, Holiday World and Splash and Safari. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And in the, the Holiday World tree, you do have some of the mascots of Holiday World. 
uh, kitty claws and the, the eagle. And of course, Hollow Dog. I was wondering, like, where's Hollow Dog? There's Hollow Dog. You also got Safari Sam. Molly, what did you find? Uh, WWE stuff. Yeah, I was waiting until you uh, noticed it. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> got NXT snowflakes. Alexa Bliss ornaments. You got the Viking Raiders. Undisputed Era. You could get a little ladder. A little ladder. Oh, that's awesome. Fun fact, I own the same t-shirt as this gingerbread man here. <laughs> you do have a cool frog here. We are so and then just the tree to open our gates to the and the street and everything is really nice. Give kids the well, I have a feeling I'm going to like this next section, the Universal Orlando Resort's Dino Holiday. Yes. Also, look at this building. Giant, uh, like, toy soldiers, giraffes. There's a massive lion. It's really cool. So we now made it into the dinosaur-themed mini golf course that's always here, mm -hmm. but it's now done up for Christmas by the folks at Universal. Look at that guy. What a fun dinosaur. The big dinosaur egg Christmas tree. This hole has a giant dinosaur, complete with a Christmas tree on. It's cute. Here's a nice happy uh, orange triceratops with a Christmas wreath. Uh, this is not really Christmassy, but the mini golf course is really cool. They got a big volcano lit up with a, like a mist lava. More fun lights and dinosaurs here. I wouldn't be surprised if these guys, yep, they squirt some sort of water. Yeah, no, this guy just did a little bit. Oh, he did, yep. yep, yep, yep. And then over here, another dinosaur wearing a Christmas wreath. It's really well done. You know, I don't care how many dinosaurs wearing Christmas wreaths I see, I'm gonna get excited every time. <laughs> so normally around the mini golf course is a, a train ride. And you can see all these plushy characters, everything from the Minions to a Furby. Uh, Stewie from Family Guy. Also, the, the tunnel here has really cool blacklight stuff. Let's see if we can see any more of the trains he was in the caboose. Oh, it's more Minions. And a three-eyed fish from uh, The Simpsons. This one's also wonderful. It's a Stegosaurus wearing bows and all lit up. And over here, wearing a wreath. This one, this one's pretty fantastic. Big pterodactyl. Very festive. I like how he's decorating the tree. We made it to the last hole in the mini golf course. Complete with a very happy family of snowmen. And I guess their, their new pal, a tyrannosaurus. And next up is Boston Market. Well, here's one near and dear to our hearts, actually where I would be right now, if there was not some sort of global health situation going on, I would be probably at some sort of after party for the IAP Expo tonight. And Molly would be concerned that I'm drinking too much. <laughs> that is true. Uh, but I do like this because uh, for years, the IAP logo was a carousel horse. And there in the window is a carousel horse. This house is just done up by the village themselves. And it's uh, really well done. I love the little car. Yeah. And then it tells you kind of the story of the village. And obviously some of the kids that have been here. This one is the Namor's Children's Hospital. This house is brought to you by Low Temp, which is a uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess an air conditioning fixing people. <laughs> it's nothing but like snowflakes and igloos. So if you're our buddy Zach, you'd probably be very excited about this. This yes. house is sponsored by the Lost Bros, which do um, kind of like Disney stuff, scotting, like scooting copyright, more or less. So like a uh, shirt based on Rock and Roller Coaster and Wishes, Wishes and Animal Kingdom and stuff like that. They do good stuff. Here's the mattress firm house. 
complete as Molly mentions with no mattresses. But there's a good photo op. There's a really nice photo op. All right, the next, the next one's sponsored by Don Caesar. I like how it's got um, like a little beach kind of thing. You could go sit down in the Adirondack chair and t get your picture taken next to the flamingo. A happy pink octopus as well. This is the Wonderworks house, complete with lights around the wheels of their car. I like how they, they've got the, the lawn nicely decorated. Uh, my favorite part about the Wonderworks house is over here, is that hanging from this big tree, they've got an upside down Christmas tree. With presents underneath. Which makes sense, because the, the Wonderworks is the upside down house. Yep. Oh yeah. And Santa. This house is brought by uh, Holiday Bright Lights. Makes sense that they would sponsor a house here. This house is a Mix 105.1. Is that like a, like a, what is inside? Is it a giant dragon with a candy cane in its mouth? I think so. And a, a happy polar bear. Yep. It is a Christmas time dragon. And there's a Santa shark here welcoming you to the Nolan's Roofing House, in which Santa, a bluebird, and a penguin are having a beach uh, party. And then inside the house, there looks like there's a, a flamingo, as well as a different Santa. This one's a pirate, still accompanied by a penguin, having a different type of party. That's a party. Here is the, the Pepsi house. Oh, the tree moves. Uh, I like the Pepsi house. It's a little blown over, but they have penguins standing on top of each other to put in a quarter to use the soda machine. <laughs> Santa in the tree. <laughs> Which, I'm missing something. Oh. Santa's in the tree. Santa is in the tree. That's what I saw the first time, but. So he like, pops out of the tree. He's like, surprise. This house is for the Something Magic Foundation. Season's greetings from the Home Depot. Makes sense, it's their colors. Yep. All right, Molly, who's the sponsor of this one? Uh, Gavin's Village. Uh, Gavin's Villa or Village? Villa, Villa. All right, not something I'm familiar with, but uh, they got stormtroopers and some pretty cool twinkly lights. This giant polar bear is uh, from Dreams Unlimited Travel, which is uh, the guys over at the Diz Unplugged and the, the Diz website. Uh, one of my favorite Disney podcasts. Uh, kudos to them for, uh, first of all, yeah. they've raised $1 million for Give Kids the World, which is amazing. That's awesome. And then uh, to sponsor a house as well. This house is for Club Wyndham. A nicely lit up golf cart over there. Here's one I haven't heard of, Baker's K Resort in Key Largo. We must have drove by it. We, we were in, it. Yeah, we were in Key Largo not too long ago. One by Advent Health here, complete with windmills and a, a big time talking about how they love their first responders. Which is great. Mm -hmm. And I love that Santa's sleigh, first of all, Santa's wearing a mask and his sleigh is taking off over an ambulance. Yeah, that's great. This one is by Mears and uh, parked there is of course the, the normal Mears shuttle. And then the private. And then there's like their private car. Yep, that's the private car if you want to rent. <laughs> and your luggage. I like the, the Nutcracker guys. This one's sponsored by Chick-fil-A. I, I do like the various cutouts of the cows. Yes. And there's a Chick-fil-A bus. It says Chick-fil-A Orlando. I had no idea. Yeah, well, I don't know why they have a bus. <laughs> Here's the IHG Owners Association. Once the village reopens. If you have the reindeer and stuff sparkling. Mm -hmm. Even the non-sponsor stuff is really neat. Like, look how well done up this gazebo is with lights. So this is pretty fantastic. This fire hydrant is R2-D2. We've got a Snow White fire hydrant here. Over here, you've got more traditional, what you would think of like for a drive through light display, where this uh, little gingerbread man is kind of uh, doing a front flip over his friends, who are very amused. Now, I guess this is probably like their check-in building. Yes. And it's all done up in lights. So something I believe is here all the time at the village is this wonderful model train area. It's, uh, 
It's really cool. You can see with the cars watching a drive-in, trains that go all around the building. Lots of uh, buttons to hit. This is a, uh, I'm sure if you're a kid, this is really cool, but even for me as a big dork, this is really neat. And that'll do it for our time here at the Night of a Million Lights, the Give Kids the World Village event. And uh, I absolutely loved it. What oh, a spectacular amazing. event. Amazing. Um, I came in thinking like, okay, this will be some sort of charity thing. You know, it'll be nice. We'll be here for 20 minutes to a half hour. We were here for two and a half hours. Yes. Um, wandering around. I, I've never been to the Give Kids the World Village before. I know Molly, you volunteered here before, but- uh, It was a while ago, but yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the village is beautiful. Yes. And then the event is really, really nice. I loved it. I really liked it. I think you get a, a very good value for your money. And it all goes to charity. Yeah, uh, goes you know, the, one of the most costs. wonderful of charities. Um, so I can't recommend this highly enough. Now, there's a lot of themed houses. Did you have a favorite house? Oh, the American Airlines was really good with the plane taking off. For me, it's no surprise, WWE NXT. Obviously. Uh, I liked the, the Ripley's one was really good, the and the Ripley. Legoland one I liked. Yes. Crayola one's up there. The Crayola one was probably my second favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, um, I definitely recommend this event if you're in the Orlando area. It's cost about 25 bucks. The price does go up a little bit on, on more expensive nights, but uh, you know, it, it's very holiday nice. It's, I can't it say good It brings holiday things. joy. Yeah. And, and it's a good use of space where they can't do anything right now in yeah. this area. Yeah, and it's the kind of thing like, uh, this event was amazing, it's wonderful. I hope they never do it again because the only reason they're doing it is because there can't be wish kids right here. And, you know, I, I would love to see them find a space somewhere in Orlando to do this, like, somewhere coming else. forward outside of the village. Yeah. But it's also, it's kind of a, a time you could go and see the village, which you normally can't see. Yep. Uh, but I can't say enough good things. Come and check this out. Also, big ups to all the companies that were sponsoring. Because all these... Most of these, them are hurting. Oh, yeah. All these, you know, your Disney's, your Universal's, your SeaWorld's. I your... found it interesting that Disney didn't say Disney. Walt Disney World? Yeah. It didn't say Walt Disney World like some companies. Oh, okay. It used the characters. Oh, but, yes, on their houses. On the yeah. houses, yeah. But yes, it was, I mean, props to Disney for donating the lights to. Yeah, uh, Disney, three million lights, and uh, all these companies that are not in good shape giving money and donating mm -hmm. to this wonderful cause. So that, good big ups to all those guys. And uh, come check this out. It's Definitely. wonderful. You get to see Turbo Man. You donate to a good cause. <laughs> come check it out, guys. Booster. Nobody likes Booster. <laughs>